It's important to tailor your resume to the job posting of interest. When you're in the active job search, you want to avoid using the same resume for each and every job posting that you express interest in. We're going to talk today about the steps that you can follow to help you customize your resume. First, you want to choose a format for your resume. You want to consider the font, the margins, what is going to be the best overall layout for you. You want to avoid templates as these are difficult sometimes to edit. We do have a number of resources for you in Handshake to help get you started when you're setting up your format for your resume. It's really important that you consider the organization of your resume as resumes are read extremely quickly, often can be just seconds. So you really want to make the best impression with your materials as possible and highlight the fit between your skills and experience and what the job posting is saying that they are their preferred qualifications. Next, you might want to maintain a master resume for your reference. By having a master resume with all of your information in one place, you'll be able to quickly customize your resume for each job posting. Consider updating that regularly. This information will not go out to employers as this master resume is for your reference only. Also, you want to identify the key information from a job posting of interest to you. You want to read over the description carefully and think about how those preferred qualifications apply to you. Consider your specific skills, experience, credentials. Make a list for yourself that you can reference as you're creating your resume. It will help you if you can articulate why your skills and experience are the best fit for this position. You also want to organize your content according to relevance. In order to maximize your resume, you want to have the most important information closest to the top. There's somewhat of a primacy effect when your resume is being reviewed. You want to consider the order in which you put your headings. So first, when you're setting up your resume, you're going to have your heading at the top. That will include your personal information, your LinkedIn, any other key information you need. You can reference Handshake to see some examples of that. Next, you can consider having a summary, which highlights your top qualifications for this position. It's usually a few sentences or even some bullet points. Next, you'd have your education. You wanna lay out your information in a very clear, concise format. If you're still in school or you've recently graduated, you do wanna feature your education towards the top, but if you have one year of experience or more since your graduation, you wanna move your education towards the bottom. Next comes your experience section. You wanna highlight the experiences that are most relevant to this position and use your headings to do so. Within each heading, your information is going to be listed in reverse chronological order but the creation of headings can help you to group information that you want to highlight or that you want to showcase together. You can consider headings such as related experience and then additional experience. Perhaps you want to group information together under the topic that it would be related to, such as research experience or project experience. So consider what headings are going to be best for you and feature the headings in order that highlight what is most important for this position. Once you create your bullets, explaining each of those experiences, the bullet points can also be ordered in terms of relevance. Each bullet point should start with a strong verb that helps to detail what it is that you accomplished. You want to make sure that you use present tense verb if it's still an experience you're currently doing, or a past tense verb if it's an experience that has been completed. You also want to make sure that you are going to quantify and describe your accomplishments for each experience. You want to be able to use the keywords that are important in your industry, important for this position. You want to use rich language to be able to articulate the information that you're presenting. Be descriptive, use data whenever possible. So numbers, percentages, that kind of information is gonna to help to show the scope and the impact of your work for a position. Remember also that you can even include volunteer experiences, unpaid internships in your experience section. So think along the lines of relevance when you are crafting your headings. Lastly, you want to carefully 
proofread your work. You want to look over your information in terms of being consistent with your font, with your formatting. You also want to check for any grammatical errors and you want to make sure things are laid out properly. It's also a great idea to have your resume reviewed. So reach out to someone from the Center for Career and Professional Development and we can assist you with this. We can also give you some more pointers on how to further customize your resume as you're applying to positions. Another idea too is you can also reach out to individuals that you know in your industry who maybe would be able to help you and review your resume or give you some tips as well. Again, you wanna stress the fit and the relevance of your skills and experience to the specific job posting of interest. The Center for Career and Professional Development here at Lehigh, we're here to support you. So reach out, go to Handshake, schedule an appointment with your career coach today, or utilize the resources as well that are within Handshake to get started.